Hey guys, thanks for joining me for Wow Me Wednesday. Tis the season for holiday party after holiday party and lots of family gatherings, right? So more often than not, you may run into those networking situations where you have an awkward conversation with someone that you see once in a while and the conversation doesn't really lead anywhere. Or you might be at a family gathering where you're talking with your opinionated uncle who is on the opposite side of the political spectrum from you and you're trying to figure out how to avoid that situation, right? Many of us have been in these scenarios. So whenever I think about tense family situations, I think back to last year's holiday season when Saturday Night Live did a skit about a family gathering around a table and it was during the very heated political season, the presidential campaign, and so whenever people would bring up a politically charged comment, the song by Adele, Hello, that was super popular at the time, would start playing. So I love the skit. I'll add a, add a link to my comments below so you can watch it if you haven't seen it. But anyways, if you don't have Adele to play during those tense or awkward moments, what should you do, right? So here are some four really simple tips to liven up the party, to avoid the humdrum conversations and conflict during your holiday parties and family get-togethers. So the first tip I have is to have some subjective questions and thoughtful questions prepared for when you're talking with colleagues or acquaintances or family members. So oftentimes we often, we talk about the weather or work, right? And it doesn't really lead anywhere. So instead of having those surface level conversations beyond the how are you doing, how have you been, think about some of the thoughtful questions you could ask. It is the end of the year, so you could transition from how have you been, how are you, to wow, it's crazy that 2017 is already over. What are your goals for next year? Or what do you have planned for next year? Or maybe what were some of your highlights of this past year? So it's very thoughtful. You're asking the person about themselves, and most people like to talk about themselves, right? And you're also having a really thoughtful and deeper conversation that goes beyond just the weather and how work is going, right? How often do you have a conversation where, hey, how have you been? Oh, I'm so busy. You know, work is going well. You know, the kids are going, doing all right. And it kind of ends there and it falls flat. Well, that leads into tip number two is you on the flip side should also have some thoughtful answers prepared to the question, how are you? So when you hear, how have you been? Instead of just talking about how busy you are and how work is, think about how, where you've been lately. We recently took a trip to Southern California. So lately I've been sharing about how great our trip to San Diego and Orange County and visiting friends and family was. And then that leads into questions about how the the weather was down there and then also commonalities. You know, I've ran into coworkers who have lived in San Diego in the past too. And so that obviously created a bond between us once we realized that we had that in common. So think about what else you could talk about. Maybe you're preparing for a marathon. Maybe you're on a healthy food kick. Maybe you're starting a new business and you blog. So really think about some answers that you could have versus just the mundane responses to how are you. The third tip I have, we have, it's so easy nowadays with social media at our fingertips. On my way to family gatherings, oftentimes with my husband's family, because I don't see them, I know them as well, I review Facebook, see what they've been up to, review the kids' names, review everybody's names so that I have them all straightened out, hopefully mostly straightened out by the time I get there. So you can see what they've been up to, what trips they've been on, maybe they had a job change or they got a new dog. So ask them, oh, hey, yeah, I saw that you were recently in Portland. How was that trip? Or, oh, I saw you got a new puppy. What's his name? So that'll end up 
getting your conversation going more quickly and going more deeply and showing that you care, right? Showing that you're paying attention to what they're putting on their newsfeed. So take advantage of Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn to see what's going on in their lives. It's a little cheat sheet before the party, right? All right, the last tip for tonight when it comes to socializing and networking during the holidays is to practice active listening. And I have to practice this myself. So put the phone away, stop scanning behind that person's head to see who else is walking through the door. Focus on the person you're talking to. You owe it to them, right? Imagine if someone else, if you were on the other side and they were constantly looking at their phone or looking behind you to see who else they could talk to. That'd be rude, right? You would feel gypped or, or hurt. So really listen to what they have to say, ask thoughtful questions in response to what they're sharing with you. And hopefully they will return that favor. So I hope these tips were helpful for you this time of year. If you have some suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you'd like more tips from me and announcements on workshops and presentations I have coming up, and hopefully webinars, that's what I'm working on next, please log on to my website, jessicachangconsulting.com, and leave me your email address so I can keep in touch with you. All right, thanks everyone, and I'll see you next week.